What's going on? Welcome to Rabbits You Scars. You know what we're going to talk about today? We're going to talk about trades. Trade deals. Trades are a double-edged sword with me. I'm really weird. I got some fellas and friends and family members even that love to trade. Trade, 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 trade. Trade your pants off. I look at trade like double work. If I sell you a car, I get paid. If I trade you a car, that means I have another car to sell before I get paid. So if I take a trade, it's going to be favoring me a lot. I'm just, I've never been a big trader like that. I mean, I'll do some swapping from time to time, but as a rule, kind of more of a taking your money kind of guy. This one person in particular, who's my father, we were actually, I was actually telling this story to some guys at the truck shop the other day. And I want to throw a warning out before I go any further, because I know the world we live in. I love animals. I don't need Sarah McLaughlin down here protesting and raising hell after I tell this story. You've been warned. Like I said, my dad loves trade. Trade, trade, trade. He trade for his most random shit. Somehow my dad ended up trading for some hunting rifles. Now, keep in mind, my father's never been hunting a day in his life. I don't know what kind of hunting rifles they are. I'm assuming they were good ones. I don't know. I don't keep up with them because I don't hunt either. The closest I come to hunting is running over something in the road. Well, he had a guy that he traded with all the time that lived close to the house that sold trailers, utility trailers, car trailers, just all kinds of stuff. And he'd go over there on Saturdays. And this guy had chocolate labs that he bred. Matt's over here snickering because he knows the story. But this guy had these chocolate labs he bred. And this guy, I met him. And he had this one chocolate lab. And his name was Hershey. And this dog was so smart. Like, he would throw, like, different color balls out. And the dog would just sit there. And he'd be like, bring me the red one. And the dog would go get the damn red ball or the green one or the blue one or whatever. Like, I mean, the dog could do, I mean, the sit and lay down and roll over. I mean, just first call on command every time. Didn't bark. You tell it to bark and bark. I mean, the dog, hell, it could open a door. And it was neat. You know, every time you went over there, it'd be like, hey. You know, do some kind of, I mean, this dog just did amazing stuff. You're never on a leash, just walk right beside you, sit down as soon as you stop. I mean, just that dog. It was beautiful, you know, beautiful chocolate lab. You know, I recently moved out of the house at this point, and my dad calls me up out of the blue. He says, I did it. I said, what did you do? He said, I was over at so-and-so's, you know, the one with the lab. I'm like, yeah. He goes, he had a puppy that's, the smart one is the daddy of, and the mama's some super duper AKC, whatever, chocolate lab. And he said they had it for a little while. And he said that, you know, that, that, you know, they showed me the place to send them to have them trained, just like Hershey. And this one's name is Chip. And my dad was so excited. This is back flip phone cameras. And I remember getting that picture. And it was, it was a pretty, I don't know, couple month old. It was a you know, lab, it was a bigger dog already. And my dad was all over himself. And it was in the in his kennel, and my dad brought it in the house. And, and the dog, he was kind of wild, like labs get, you know? And he said, I got to send it to this school. This dog was in doggy college for six weeks. Like gone. It wasn't like a back and forth thing. Like he shipped Chip off to the Citadel, to like boot camp for dogs. And my dad was talking about the whole time. He's going, boy, you wait till Chip gets back. He said, that, that's just going to be the neatest thing. You know, riding a truck with me, all this stuff. You know, the thing is, growing up as a child, riding with my father, I remember things like, don't touch my dash. You're going to have a dog riding in the car. And you were giving me the third degree for moving in the seat too much. You're packing my upholstery down. Stop. Keep your feet on the mat. But you know what I'm saying? Like, these are the things. And all of a sudden, like, uh, I moved out and got replaced by a dog. Six weeks goes by. My dad was ecstatic. And me and my first wife, we actually got dressed up and went to a doggy graduation. 
And I kid you not, it was a beautiful spring day, and they had like this little stage set up, steps on both sides, and they had a little podium, and you know the little guy there, and he had he had on like a the cap and gown thing, you know, and he called those dogs up one at a time, and they came up there and they had little doggy diplomas, like they they bit them and walked off the stage with them. I mean, I'm like, it was impressive. I mean, I'll be honest with you, hell, it went better than my real damn graduation did. I mean, like, and I mean, like, this is awesome. You know, we're taking pictures with the dog, with his diploma, and the guy with the cap and gown on that trains these things. And, you know, he's talking about all this stuff. And, you know, then he sat my dad down and, you know, showed him all the commands and all the things to do. And, I mean, my dad, he was all about, he's taking notes. Well, my dad's ecstatic. And, you know, just over here, you say, sit, sit. I mean, just, you know, it was just all this stuff. A chip boy, he's just like a machine. Just like, my dad was so excited. I love, I love seeing anybody happy. Even if it was over a dog that replaced me. Like, I was seriously, seriously worried at this point that he was going to get dementia and, like, have Chip cut out of the wheel and have me put to sleep or something. So we go through all this stuff. I'll never forget. We took Chip home, and we all went out to dinner. Well, we come back, and Chip had shit all over the floor. You know, we probably should have took him out before we brought him in. Yada, yada, yada. Gotcha. Never did I do that. Next day, Dad called me and said, something's wrong with Chip. He said, what? He said, he said, he ain't doing like he was doing at the school. He said, won't you come over here? I said, what the hell am I going to do? So I go over there. Just basically more or less just so I can make fun of him. And this dog wouldn't do shit. He wouldn't do nothing. He'd just sit there and look at you, tongue hanging out. And I mean, and I'll be honest with you, when you look at Chocolate Labs, this one looked kind of like he might be a little on the slower side. Keep in mind, don't get offended. I'm moving on. Sit. He'd just stare at you. Bark. Silent. Then he'd just start barking random. After a couple of days of this, my dad calls the school up. They said, well, you know, sometimes, you know, you got to send them back for, you know, whatever. Two more weeks, Chip goes off to doggy college. No graduation this time. Dad picks him up. Sure enough, right there at the thing. Sit, lay, knows how to walk on a leash, you know, beside you. Doing everything perfect. And I'll never forget, I picked him up in my pickup truck in his kennel. Because, I mean, keep in mind, Chip, by this point, is going to be a pretty big damn dog. And I brought him home, and, you know, Dad puts the leash on him. He hops out of the truck. You know, and he takes a leash off of him because, you know, he's trained now. You know, takes a leash off of him, just darts off running, chases him down, finally gets him caught or, you know, rounded up or whatever. He said, he must have just been excited. Could be. I got to go. So I left. Next morning, we're back at the truck shop. And he's telling me all about Chip. He goes, the dog still ain't right. He said, he said I really think I got sold damaged or got traded damaged goods. This man knew something about this dog I didn't know. And I said, what, your perfect puppy dog is not what you thought it was going to be? Am I the golden child again? Really, there's no real end to this story other than a kind of a shitty part. So in the end, it's kind of ironic that my dad traded for Chip from a guy that sold car trailers because my dad ended up trading Chip to a guy for a car trailer, for an for a 18-foot open steel car trailer with electric brakes. The funny part of this is, is he got Chip, and he told him, he's been trained, but he ain't right. Some just ain't Jihan. This guy gets him, sit, everything. He goes, that's the best dog I ever had in my life. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Guys, we'll catch you next time at Rabbit's Used Cars. The thing that tickled me is I barely graduated high school and you're sending a fucking dog out for further learning. But